Hello, thanks for joining me again. So today we're going to go over what quotas are, why they work, how they work, how to use them, and where to find them in your survey. To start, let's go over where you find quotas. So if you head into your survey, on the far left hand side you'll see a lot of options to select from. You'll see this clipboard, these two rectangles joined by a line, this sort of roller brush, some dials, a gauge chart, and then some special character text. In between the dials and special character text, the quotas is right here, the fifth option on the far left hand side. If you click into that, you should see something that says no quotas added and give you the option to add a quota. In here, once you click add a quota, you have the option between simple logic quota and cross logic quota. You can click on any one of them and then you'll be good to go to get started with your first quota. Now, for the rest of the video, I'll go over what these two different options are, when you use them, how you use them, and the special ways you can configure quotas to get exactly what you're looking for out of your survey. If you're interested in that, please feel free to stick around, but otherwise, you should be good to go. All right, now in this portion of the video, we're going to go over the different quota types, what they are, how they work, and when you'd use one over another. So starting with the simple logic quota, these guys are used with specific buckets with specific numbers that you'd like to perform an action once that bucket and threshold is met. So for example, if I click into the simple logic quota, so when question one, yes is answered, and I have a hundred thousand of these guys, I want this survey to close. The way I'd set this up in the quota is, after question one, yes is selected, you can prevent all new survey sessions. So every single time someone selects yes to question one, this quota is in incremented. So let me change this to simple quota. This quota is incremented and once it hits a thousand, the survey closes so that no one can access the survey anymore. This is great when you're using different categories in different buckets with specific numbers that you already know beforehand. So for example, in this case, I know that I only want a thousand responses. So once a thousand responses have been met, then I want this survey to close and no one to answer the survey so I get no more responses. This is a little bit different for complex quota or cross logic quota that we'll go into in, in a little bit. I'm first going to publish this. Perfect. And then head back to my quota groups to add another one. Now, going to cross logic quotas, these guys are a little bit different because instead of different specific numbers for specific categories, this is broken down by percentage or by proportion. So I can still have the thousand responses for this total. Now, what I'll do is I'll configure this at 30% age between 18 and 24. 30% age are between 25 and 44. 30% are between 34 and 45 rather, and 65. And then 10% to go to 65 plus. Perfect. Now these guys are a little bit different, where these conditions are incremented based on proportions. So in this case, let's head down here, it'll fill these different buckets up based on the proportions I set beforehand. So once this age group is met, 18 to 24, if it sees a response that's between 18 and 24, it'll do something in here. It'll end the current survey so that that age group can't take the survey anymore. Then it'll go to the next bucket. If this bucket's full, it'll end the survey for that group. That group can't take the survey anymore. 
Same thing with this guy. If this age group is full, for them, the survey will end. Can't take the survey anymore. And then once we get 65 plus, it will do the exact same thing. This quota is really useful if you have proportions that you want specific answers to fall into. Unlike the simple logic quota, which it just fills up to a certain number, then does some action, this guy is a lot more granular, where if you want specific numbers and specific types of responses to go in your survey, you'd be likely or in a much better spot if you use a cross logic quota instead of a simple one. Although a simple one can be configured to have the same logic as a cross logic quota, cross logic quotas make it a lot easier to split up different buckets into different proportions in this manner. Once again, to recap, to find a quota, you'll go here on the far left, fifth option on the left hand side, and then you click into that and you click add a quota in the top right corner, you'll see the options for a simple quota and a cross logic quota. Cross logic quotas are broken down by proportions in cases when you want specific categories to have a specific amount of responses in your survey, while simple quotas are just based on thresholds if you want a specific amount before some action happens in the survey. Hope that clarifies things. If you do have any additional questions or concerns or want to go over anything or have any other video topics you recommend, please let me know in the comments section below. Always happy to take suggestions and always happy to clarify anything further in future videos. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day and look forward to speaking with you soon.